morning y'all good morning welcome back welcome back to another vlog this is this vlog two of 2024 that's right i'm back in town i just got back a couple of days ago and i flew in and kid you not within 24 hours it was a snowstorm snowy nashville is covered in snow you guys like it is a tundra it's really beautiful we it's, it. it's gorgeous just it's just freezing yeah we've been locked up like lockdown vibes for two days because all the roads were closed everything was closed the gym um a lot of grocery stores were closing early yeah restaurants were closed coffee shops were closed so yep. we're just like hunkering down we chilled with Smokey, which was really fun i loved doing that because i wasn't with him for a few yeah. days so it's really fun to just get to hang out and we took him to the grocery store just spent some cute time with him played with him and now we are trying to get back to our normal schedule. Um, our nanny came today and Hunter and I are on our way to the gym. It is currently eight degrees Fahrenheit. Eight degrees. Um, which some people in other states <laughs> think that's not very cold. But for us it's cold. It's cold. We it's are cold. cold. But um, we're gonna hit, hit the gym, get a workout in, try to move around a little bit since we've been like stagnant for a few days. Anywho, any other agendas today? Do home goods? Oh, I am in a Home Goods mood. I really want to go to Home Goods. I don't know what it is, but I just really want to go there. I don't know why. I haven't like I think I OD'd on it for a while. Like I was going so much back in the Texas days. And for some reason I was like, I'm feeling the itch. Like and you have to have the itch to go there because you gotta like be in the zone. Well you so. have to have the itch. You have to have like a reason to wanna go. I know. And I think right now we're wa wanting to find some things for Smoke's Nursery. Sorry, the uh, the frost thing has been on. It might have been loud. But we're wanting to find things for Smoke's Nursery. And some shelves, <laughs> some random items. Yeah. The thing about home goods that we've kind of realized and why we slowed our roll on home goods, one, we OD'd on it. But two, a, a lot of the stuff you buy at home goods end up being like just extra clutter in your house. Yeah. Because it's a lot of small pieces. Yeah. And so we want to be very specific and choosy with what we buy. Definitely. No, I want to go there with like an edited eye and just like get really just see if there's anything that I need or that's cute, but I just wanting to go on the hunt. So All right, we are all showered up after the gym. Getting ready to go out for some errands. Hunter is making a little breakfast right now. I made some overnight oats with coconut milk because when I was in Hawaii, they um, one of the at the hotel we were staying at in the morning at the breakfast buffet, they had overnight oats with coconut milk, and we were like, "This is the best thing we've ever." had so i decided to try to make them so i did chia seeds oats coconut shreds and then coconut milk like out of a can but it's like with the cream so it's creamy but let's see how it tastes I haven't tried it yet it's delicious kind of tastes like the equator ones right yeah it's so good mm. pretty creamy though it gets like thick so if you want yeah, more watery, you could water down with almond milk, but I just wanted to try and see how they taste it. But I'll put like berries on top and stuff. I made bison quinoa like a day ago. So we had a lot of leftovers and I made a bison quinoa omelet Yummy. with three eggs and some cottage cheese. Mm. It's so good. Just so good. A bison quinoa just slaps. No matter what time of day. I know. I had it this morning at 7. Literally the best dish. We make it every week. I always tag it on my Instagram stories. Um, I hope you guys follow along. But We'll put the link to the recipe in the description box down below as well. We prep it every week. I've been getting more people message me or sending me pictures of them making after it? they have made it. Do they love it? Yeah. They do. Um, we basically prep it. And then we leave it in the thing, guys, and we just leave a cover on it. And we double the recipe because we eat it that much. But it's just like for a busy parent life, it is so key because it's packed with protein, quinoa, rice, beans, meat, and it just like 
fills you up. It's a complete like meal. It you can put it on salads, on eggs, yeah, by we, itself. We use it in a ton of different dishes. Like the first yeah. night we make it, we usually just have it plain. Plain with and like cheese. And then afterwards, every morning you can have it for breakfast with <laughs> eggs. You can throw avocado on it, cottage cheese. You put it on salads. Yeah. You could probably put it on like, I don't know, like a put it like a wrap. Oh, you could do so. It'd be so good in a wrap. Yeah, a wrap like fill like with different fillings. Mm. It's so yummy. So we love that, and that's been like one of our hacks since we've had smoke because you guys know if you have kids, like you have to have things that are easy and on the go. And it's always nice to have, like if we have time, we can cook a meal um, and like make something else. But to have something to, in the case that you are just like don't have the energy mm -hmm. and you could just grab it and you know it's going to be good, that's like been key for us. Meal prepping with kids, I feel like is key. So. We've been doing a lot of that and I prep um, those like vegetables a lot. We do shredded chicken, just like having things you can grab is- Even if it's just like a rotisserie chicken from Whole Foods or yes. something, and yes. then shred it and just keep it in your fridge. Totally. For grab and go like protein snack. For sure. It's fire. It's fire. We're off to Home Goods, and we have to, we're going to a friend's birthday tonight for one of Smokey's friends. She's turning two. So um, we're gonna get her a present and we're gonna run Home Goods. So. I uh, just wanted to be really comfortable. I'm wearing my Lululemon top, these tops that I live in, talked about a million times, and these Free People jeans. Those are my favorite jeans. I love them. I love basically them. like sweatpants, but in jean form. They're like loose, kind of baggy. Um, they come in a ton of different colors. I think they're like a really popular fit. They're almost like a barrel leg, and I cuff them, but, um, and then we're just wearing my docks, but I love these so much. They look really cute with like, sandals flats it just there's a very like laid back vibe um and then i'm gonna need a coat so i just grabbed this white fuzzy one from boohoo i got it on black friday but it's sold out unfortunately it's a little too extra no a little bit and then my acne scarf so i need to get my bag together actually First. have you taken your seat yet not yet let's do that Last but not least, before we leave, I'm gonna take my seed really quick. You guys already know the drill. We're so excited. They extended our code for you guys through 2024. I'll put it here on the screen and down in the description box down below in case you forget it. Um, if you haven't gotten on the seed train, it is time, you guys. The best thing you could do for your health, especially kicking off the new year, if you're trying to like take steps towards uh, bettering yourself, this is key for us, especially in our health journeys. You guys know Hunter and I both have like uh, autoimmune issues going on, and we really need to dial in well, yours is our probably wellness. Allergy and not autoimmune. Yeah, I don't know. We're not sure, but. Um, I take two of these every day on an empty stomach. It's a prebiotic and probiotic combined, which is just basically going to be really good for your gut bacteria, your overall immunity, skin health, gut health, everything. The gut is the center of the body and it really runs everything. So we love this. Um, my, I also just got my mom on it. She started it when we were home over Christmas break. And one tip I wanted to give you guys, if you are starting seed, cause she just started it. I was like take two every morning on an empty stomach like before you go to the gym or something because uh, she goes to f45 also and it kind of if you start out on two tablets um it can sometimes like take your stomach a minute to adjust like you might feel a little queasy so i would start with one yeah, that's what seed we did. and then build your way up i forgot to tell her that and then she texted me and she was like wait i have like a stomach ache is that normal i was like oh shoot I well it's just like you. your body's not used to it <laughs> yeah because it's like powerful but that's how you know it's sort of like working because you're like oh i can feel it what's going on um i'm sure many of you already have like your chain of supplements you're already taking like i take oil of oregano i take uh fish oil turmeric uh beef liver all kinds of different stuff yeah. but seed is something we hardly ever miss yeah. honestly when we went to california it was like the first time i missed it because we forgot it here which we were so bummed, but anyway. But it's just really great, especially this day and age, if you do not eat, like most of us don't eat a diet that has like a colorful, like wide spectrum enough of like variety that you can get like good bacteria from, you sort of like have to take something like that because there's just no way. Or you strip the bacteria out of your body through yeah. taking antibiotics, antibiotics medicine, stuff like steroids, that. Steroids, anything. So yeah. everything in the environment is kind of working against you. So I would like highly recommend getting on one of those. You can also take it pregnant and breastfeeding. Someone DM me the other day and asked that. Yes, you can. I took it all through my pregnancy and they yeah. just developed one for kids too. So yes. um, there's a special 
one if you're like under 17. They have a kids one, and then that's the adult. Highly one. recommend Seed. We'll put the code on the yeah. screen in the description box. Get the whole family. Go thing. check it out. Start it in 2024. <laughs> You've heard us talk about it enough. Give it a month. Give it two months. Just give it a try. We're actually even starting Booker on a probiotic. Um, well, we yes. found a dog one. So, anyways, fun fact: we're getting the whole family on probiotics. But um, yeah, let's go to Home Goods. Okay, let's do it. No nonsense, no funny business. Not getting any shit we don't need. Okay. Shake on it. You need to shake on it. Yeah, yeah. Put her there. Is that permission to keep you in line? Put her there. Yeah. Put her there. Yeah. She's beauty and she's grace. <laughs> Home goods. Hey girl, we missed you. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been inside of you. Home goods. I'm, I'm serious. I haven't been in here in a long time. Okay, where we go? Anything got on the radio? Let it play. Okay, my focus was I want to go to the kids section because I'm looking for stuff for his nursery. You know what? It's easier to shop here when you're not looking for something specific. But I when you so are, too. it's hard to find what you're looking for. I agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. Couldn't have said it better. Okay, so my friend gifted me this blanket actually for smoke from like a really nice boutique in California. And I was like, oh, it must be like super luxe and expensive. And here it is at Home Goods for $19.99. It's so cute though, with little hot air balloons. But how cute is this little blanket? They have really good kids' blankets. Look how cute these lamps are, you guys. These would be, they're like kind of like a mushroomy, organic topper. Really cute. Tommy Bahama, 60 bucks. Do we have a place for them to sit on? No. So I'm not getting them, but I'm just suggesting them. Those are really cute though. <clears throat> I want to get a new lamp for Smoke's Room and I want a patterned lampshade, but it's really hard to find. So let's see if they have anything. They have these misshapen mirrors, which we have in Smoke's um, Room. We had these in our Texas house. They're from Zara Home, but I don't think they make them anymore. But that's like an exact dupe of them. It's a little smaller. A little smaller, but, it's but nice smaller. if you have like an apartment, it'd be perfect. So those are here. There's two of them. Nice. Just FYI. Okay, I like this basket, this style. We could do something like this on the ground for his toy storage. It's, I, I mean, that's not bad. Just like temporarily, because it's all spewed out on the ground right now. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you know, like the corner where his play thing is. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if we could do something that slides underneath his crib. Yes. That'd be very practical. That is practical. But this is a nice basket, that's nice looking. So loud. There's a ton of places we can put this um, and I thought one being is in our bathroom in front of the toilet instead yeah. of the trash can there but you put like all the toilet paper in there that or would be cute. in the guest bathroom like the hall bath instead of we that could, yeah it would be nicer mm -hmm. or, I like it or we could put it under the sink too I think this is great yeah. totally this is just a nice looking bathroom yeah Okay. And if we don't want to put use it for a bathroom, we can use it for smokes toys, or we can. We, it would be multi-purpose basket. Yes. Love that for us. We love MPBs. MPBs. Okay. Ooh. Oh, if I had a girl, a girl, this would be a great color scheme for the nursery. I love that. Look at these. So cute. Oh, maybe I should get one for Carly. Stars, dinosaurs, rawr. Um, and then where was the butterfly one? That's the one I want to get for our friend. It's her birthday party tonight. She's turning two. And I just thought it was so cute. So cute. How adorable. And like classy. It's like not obnoxious. But for a girl, so cute. So I think I'm going to make her like a little basket for her birthday. Because why not? Let's do a birthday basket. Um, we need a basket for her birthday basket. Maybe this is a good size. That's cute. I like that. Mushroom lamp is kind of cute. Like, That's cute. That would be cute for Layton. But I don't know what color her nursery is. That's cute for Layton. I know. That'd be cute in the basket. Would it? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking, but. It's a plug in. There's a battery. This is Wait. just to show you what it looks like. And then you put batteries in. Batteries in. It's really cute. I think we do it, and it looks cute in the basket. Cute. So cute. Boxes. These are cute. really cute. 
like Little, gift boxes that I know. you can also like keep afterward. Totally. Put a bunch of random gadgets in. For I sure. I know, I love a box. Love a good box. Dishes are so cute. They look like little, these look like little like European dishes or something. I kind of like those for our house. I want to see if there's any cute Valentine's mugs. Cause I love a seasonal mug. That's a pet mine. What seasonal mugs? I know you hate them, but I love them. Well, look what I just stumbled across, which you need so bad for smoke. Hunter, look what I just stumbled upon. Oh. And it's literally per. It's three months, but that looks perfect size for him. That's a polo, huh? Yeah. Kind of cool. It's probably on the TV. Probably Max, just a little big. Twenty nine dollars. Let's get it. We gotta get it. We don't have like snow stuff for him. So cute. Two fifty. Kind of rip off. Rip off. The other thing I thought could be fun for Smokey is like fun towels for his nursery because he kind of grew out of his towels, his newborn towels. But. They have to be cute. That was smoky. Cute. Yeah, I kind of want to do colors. I'm so like sick of my beige ass. I'm thinking like something like a pattern or something fun. What is that? Maybe for his toddler room. Oh, I can't. I already can't wait for it, him to flip to toddler room so I can get him a full bed and do all that stuff. But oh, this is cute. If you have a girl, little Valentine's sheets. I want to be that mom when. Smoke's a little older. It gives him like seasonal sheets for every holiday, like Easter, Valentine's. I just think it's fun. It's so cute. Look at that big mushroom lamp. It's cute if you want a big mushroom lamp. That's just very cute. Kind of slim pickings on the rugs. It's not bad. pink on here, but it's like beige. Yeah, jute. Yeah, that's like nice and plain. That's a good one. Yeah, I don't really see anyone's worth showing. I've never looked at the clothes here, but it's kind of cute. Damn. Olive and Oak, that looks like a cute brand. That's so cute though. A little Cardi sweat set. Baby section, let's go. That I can get on board with. Oh my god, fun. Why is the kids section always more fun? Stop it. Okay, what focus, focus. So I wanna look for some things for smoke and then we're gonna get something for Leighton. This is way more fun when you have a kid shop for. So I've learned recently that the Jessica Simpson line is really cute for kids. I don't know if they have boy stuff, but like for a girl, slay. Those are so cute. Oh my god, the little Valentine's jammies. Those are so cute. Okay, so she, so focus, focus, huge. Okay, okay, I am dead for this. Look at this freaking set, you guys. <gasps> for a little girl, 14 with the shorts. I want this. Are you kidding me? Okay, but that's on the right size. Maybe we'll get her a 3T because they don't have 2T. Nice coming here when you're buying for other people. Literally. Okay, wait, wait. We need to reassess. Let's Versus go through our stuff. Cute, 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 cute. All right, we just got home. I stopped at Academy and actually got a couple things. I got this jacket. Uh, I was wanting something warm because I'm going on this little camping trip this weekend. Um, camping, we're actually staying at a little cabin. It's like 16 guys. And we're going to somewhere outside of Tampa. Florida, so um, yeah, I just want to get a couple warm things because I think the low is like 30, and I don't exactly know the sleeping arrangements or like how warm I'll be. So, just wanted to get a couple warm items. I got some hand warmers, some gloves, some wool socks, and just check it. So, anyways, Julie's making a little, you're making like a parfait or your oats. I'm just doing my oats. Pomegranate's so good on there. Mm -hmm. it's like the perfect little touch. So good. Voila. Okay. Cool. Okay, and then we put together that basket really quick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. Let's arrange the birthday basket. So, we found this little book, which is really cute for her age because she's just probably learning words right now. She's turning two. Okay. Let me get a 
I'm just gonna roll up. Put it in like that. Okay, cute. Hunter picked out this really cute little headband stand. It's like my first headbands. It's adorable. It's like a little thing with bows on it. So put that in there, which I think is adorable. Cute, cute, cute. Then we've got our mushroom lamp. We just need to put batteries in that. Lamp and her book. And oh, her outfit. It is like a heart rain jacket with this underneath, little jean, they're jeggings basically, and a little plain heart shirt. Really, really cute. Oh, and this is soft inside this little rain jacket. This is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Let's come what up. Mushroom here and the book. Cute. Okay. All these balls are here in this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter converted to a Skims man. You can't stop ordering them. Come show well, what you got. I got a uh, light gray sweatsuit from them. Yeah. And I liked it so much that I ordered a charcoal. Charcoal, whatever. You have Heather. I did. Oh, okay. I have Heather light gray, and then I got the, the charcoal gray uh, because I liked it so much. But this one is just the crew neck on this sweatshirt. This feels very like. Cozy winter. Mm, cute. Well, and then I got yeah. the black sweats with black hoodie. Cute. Black. I've never been like a big sweat guy, but I loved the sweatsuit from Skims, and I'm like, all right, I can get on this train. Well, and when it's cold, you like kind of need it. Yeah, and it's good for layering. I, I feel like I find myself mostly wearing sweatshirts when I layer, um, or like sweatpants if we're just like going to coffee or something. But all good product. Okay, look who I have. Are you gonna dress for the smile. birthday? There's your little belly button. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna um, change too. I'm just gonna change tops. Okay, bring them up. Are you ready for the birthday party? Daddy forgot the keys. He has to go back inside. He's coming back. Don't worry. Okay, we just got home from the birthday party. It was a success. It was so cute. It was super cute. Smokey loves me with all the other babies. I think kid birthday parties are so fun because you get to like see all the other kids, talk to a bunch of parents, yeah. and then the kids get to play with each other. Yeah, exactly. And there were a lot of little babies there. That was probably like so what, five, six little, little babies, little kids. Yeah, they were all vibing. Yeah. It was cute. Okay, Smokey's time for Baba. Should I give him his bath and then do his bottle upstairs? Um, I can do bath. If we want to do it together, we can go up and do it together. Let's do bath time together. We can kind of tag team it. Yeah. You love that? Do you love the water stream? Wee! Okay. These are my favorite evenings, <laughs> even though they're rare. But Hunter and I, on occasion, I would say maybe like once every two weeks we're up here together doing bath time and Hunter or I will do the bottle and the other will sit on the day bed and we'll just hang and it's literally my favorite thing in the world and Booker's up here it's just like the whole fam's together makes me very happy yeah they're like such pure moments I know it's very like it's just fun and these are my favorite we're all together everything's relaxed we get to chat i love a little like all oh, the baby shampoo scents also isn't good. it amazing i know okay. <laughs> booker no booker loves all smokes toys you will not leave him alone this is not for you Oh, 
Okay, guys. Well, parent life, we're eating our bison quinoa leftovers. This is why we love the bison quinoa because we just microwave this because mom and dad are tired. This is my third <laughs> time having this today. I added a grapefruit this time. But that's why it's so clutch. Mm -hmm. We got Booker over here cleaning Smokes Activity Center. You guys know the vibes if you have a dog and a baby. Do yourself a favor and just make this recipe one time. So clutch. Just try it. So clutch. Make it for dinner and have it the next day for lunch or breakfast. Yeah. Or dinner again. It's just solid. Okay, we're trying to find a little spot for this basket. So cute. Ooh, that looks nice too. Yeah, it's perfect. And then we can load it with toilet paper. And I could also put my tampon. Yeah, in there, just like <laughs> TMI, but you always gotta have a place for those. Perfect, and then I have like my. Just my dump it or just leave it in? You can leave it in the basket if it fits. Yeah, I'll pull it out. Perfect. Yay, I love it. It's so cute. Um, I also got that. Where did that type go? Uh, I can install that. Oh, the towel rack? Yeah. Should we just do that now? Yeah. Okay, we have a towel rack for here. We got this on Amazon. I think back when we moved in, but we just never put it up. I think we put it here. Yeah. And I think we can put that piece of art right there. That's what I think. I want to redo this bathroom. Me too. Like, Not uh, redo, but just judge it. Well, like, yeah, new light. Yeah, it's a little warm. It needs warmth. It needs warmth. It's too cold in here. I know. I wonder if we get paint here. Yeah, but it's also like just sort of the vibe of the house, and it's like I'd rather just save like our instead of trying to redo really do things to make them us, like just wait till the house that we get to build that's us. I know, but I feel like in this bedroom, yeah, and in here we could do a nice like well, Roman clay. Remember right the curtains? That's gonna help. I know, but I'm thinking Roman clay in both of these rooms. Okay. Bathroom, bedroom, okay. and it'll make our it'll make this space much more cozy. Okay. Cause that's the whole thing we lack about this townhome is it's so like new and modern that a lot of the elements are just like I hate that light. Yeah. Freaking hate that light. Um, yeah. And the it's tile, we can work with quick. the we can work with the tile if you warm up in other areas. Yeah, I know. Did we show you guys our little ruggable runner that we ordered? Ordered this off ruggable, um, not sponsored. Um, on Black Friday, and it's pretty cute. It's like nice little, add some warmth to the bathroom. This oh, need to put back up in the attic, this is oh, Christmas we, time. Oh, if we can put a shelf, a wooden shelf in here too. Like on the ground when yeah. we well, Cause it, Honestly, yeah. that is ridiculous. I know. I have like one product in there and you got about 19. In other very exciting news, our Custom drapes are finally almost ready. Um, it's gonna be the very last week of January slash first week of February for install. So I've been texting with our <coughs> lady that helps us with our drapes. She is here in town in Nashville. She does like some design work. and so She, she did our drapes us. at our first Nashville house. Yeah. We love her and we love her love product. Her. She like renovates homes and she has like really good style. Uh, but like drapes is one thing that I just, we do not feel confident doing by ourselves because we just don't have much experience. And, well, she's, and she has all the partnerships with all the yeah. people that are like really good with like the measurements and like yes. the install and we're like, let's just go through her. And she knows the people at the we'll fabric house. We'll pay her her small fee just to like manage the project yeah. for us, so. So worth it. So um, Cause there's so many numbers and little, ugh, I just, <coughs> I can't do that. So um, those are all gonna be ready very soon. So we're getting this installed in a few weeks and it's just gonna really warm up the house. We're getting like shades there and like on both of those windows, like on here, they're gonna be like tall and just, oh, it's gonna be so cozy. In the kitchen, it's gonna be in the bathroom. Kitchen, bathroom. Every window. Nursery, every, the whole house, we did every single floor. So we're so excited. When um, it? It's in the last week of January, so first like week of Oh, we're so Literally close. Literally like a week or two. Yeah, we're so close. Yeah. I mean, last week of January is next week, That's so. A long time coming. Long time coming. Like, just like right the bottom, like here. So. Okay. You know. 
22 exactly. 22? Yeah. Okay. 11 from center? Sure. <laughs> I hate that. I was kind of excited for it, just like to be yeah. outside for a couple of days and just like, yeah. But I don't know, it felt, it didn't feel right, like timing wise. We've been, haven't been back from the holiday stuff very long, and then you're in Hawaii last weekend. And he's in, yeah, feeling a little like, oh, felt busy. So, yeah. I'm really excited to have some downtime. But yeah, and I was supposed to have a hockey game tonight and then leave for the my flight tomorrow at 5 a.m., and both got canceled. Yeah. So, it's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. I just had an eye appointment and Hunter's eyes inflamed, he has to get now, so So it just feels like a lot of stuff's happening at once, so having a little bit of downtime this weekend. I'm not even downtime, time to like take care of things that have been building up and weighing on me. Will be good. Will be good instead of like running off to a weekend trip. Yeah. Um, anyway. I want to paint here. What? Yeah. I'm like done to buy paint this weekend and paint. Right. I'll do it. Put me to work. All right. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to shower tan. You'd think they would have like even added like shelves up here. Right? There's literally nothing. Yeah, you had to like add everything yourself. All of it. Out with the wolves. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a cabinet guy to come over. Okay. I, I also called uh, Pelican a second ago. Yeah. And it didn't go through, but I was gonna get, go and get the water filter from the top. Oh, yeah, let's do that. You wanna do that? I would love that. I feel like it'd be better for our skin, too. Yes. Like, this water. Like, have you ever noticed when you do, even just do this and catch it in your hand? It's like milky. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's shit in it. The next step is filtering the house with filtered water. We, we did, did that in our last house. Yeah. So yeah. that like any basically the Nashville water is really bad. It's but, not like, bad. It's just it's like just harsh. Like, it like pouring. strips your skin, messes with your hair. It's kind of like a known thing. So um, we got everything filtered in the last house so that even when you you could like get bottled water from like the faucet in your bathroom or whatever. So it's very really clean and that's what we want. Um, so we're gonna do that. And we've been wanting to do that for a while because even like Smoke's bath, like the water's a little harsh and we thought about that like just for his skin and stuff. Like not, I mean his skin's fine, but on a side note, you guys, these primarily pure shower steamers, I'm addicted to them. Oh, they're so good. I wanted to take a shower, hot shower right now and put one in. It's bergamot and eucalyptus. They're legit. They're legit. They have like menthol in them, so if you're sick or just like in the hot, like cold winter. To take like a hot bath with this eucalyptus menthol steamer. <gasps> so good. Um, and all their stuff smell toxic, so really good stuff. Love the body butters too. I'm gonna put one in. I have a code with them too if you want it. I'll put it below. But you just start the shower and then you take a tablet and put it on the ground. And then when it starts to get hot, it releases and it like steams and oh. So it's like a bath fit. It smells so good. Shower. It feels like you're like in a steam room. Like at, at a spa. spa. Yeah. I know. That's what I said on Instagram. I'm like, it's the coolest thing that you can get. This dork just stares out and watches the cars <laughs> all day. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? We love you. His, his uh, winter coat's getting long. Yes, I went to the eye doctor today and they redilated my eye and like how freaking big my pupil is. Alright you guys, that's the end of this video. We're gonna close out. But we'll vlog this weekend. We're gonna keep vlogging Hunter's today. Be home. We'll, yeah. have lots to do, so. we'll keep vlogging today and into tomorrow and this weekend, so we'll have another video go up like Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. But we will see y'all soon. Hope y'all have a good uh, afternoon. Good evening. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Like a love song before, electric woman playing on the dance floor. Just
Distorted reflections in the mirror ball My vision's not seen with my eyes